You gotta set this up real good so you can see me, right? biggest secret that I've read in almost all self-help books that I've read and the biggest secret for overcoming procrastination and uh, basically doing the things that you have to do and it's this emotional intelligence the ability to not be guided by your emotions now I don't mean not taking advice of your emotions. By all means, your emotions tell you something, but people are overwhelmed by their emotions. People cannot take the emotional pressure. They say, I feel that I cannot do it. I, I, I feel like I can't do it today. Or I don't, I don't feel like it. Well, here's a solution. It's not the solution. Here's a solution, a tool that I happened to have to apply when I was experiencing anxiety attacks. And it's this, the art of reframing. What do I mean by that? Reframing what you are telling yourself. At first, it's hard. You first need to look into your mind and see what things you're telling yourself. That in and of itself is already a task. After that, what you do is you look at these limiting patterns and a good method is an ABC method. What's the adversity? What's the action that happened? What's the belief that I had? And what's the consequences that came out of it? For instance, uh, you know, a bill came, I thought, shit, I cannot pay it. Um, and I started thinking more things like, uh, man, I'm, I'm going to be broke, I'm going to be in debt, I can never pay it, I can never afford it, blah, 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 limiting beliefs. And then the consequence was that my whole day was fucked up because I started feeling frustrated, uh, anxious, etc. So the art of reframing. And if you learn this skill, I, will, I can guarantee you, you can succeed at everything in life because he who has control over his own thoughts will achieve what he or she wants. It's that simple. And that's the number one thing that always, 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 always comes back from self-help books. So how can you apply that if you right now have a feeling like, you know, debilitating and you don't have a structure, you have no plan, you want to do, sh you want to do shit, but you're like, there's too much. There's too much information. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. And you're beating yourself up. So you, you better do nothing, right? Well, if you want to conquer that procrastination, if you want to start feeling better about yourself, and moreover, not work too hard, not have that, you know, too much work and, and no life, which is another end of the spectrum, you want to master the art of reframing. So let's say, for instance, you know, um, let me give you an example of myself. When I had the anxiety attacks, at first, I never went out. I didn't even go out of my bed because it was like, man, I don't want to experience that anxiety. But once that I learned that to overcome that anxiety, I had to use that anxiety, I said to myself, well, you know what? When I go out, I will experience anxiety. And now I can practice everything I learned to overcome anxiety because if I do so, I will not only conquer anxiety, I will also be able to travel the world. I will also be able to create my dream job. Guess what I'm doing? I travel the world, I created my dream job. And whatever that is for you, you can accomplish that as well. As long as you take the obstacle and reframe what the obstacle is in your mind. For me, it was the anxiety, it was the fear, like, oh my God, no, this anxiety is gonna kill me, which was what I was thinking, like, no, 
I cannot do it because I'm too scared. But then I reframed it. I said, no, no, the anxiety is actually a way to practice. A way to practice these tips, these steps that I can now use to conquer that anxiety. Wow, that's exciting. Let me give you another example. For instance, you know, you live in the same house with a good friend and you both get up at this, you know, the same time, you both meditate and let, let me paint it, this picture, right? It doesn't matter if it's not you, but let's just come along with me. You meditate both together. You, you do it in a, in a different room, but for some reason, you know, your friend is always very noisy, right? Now, one thing you can do is obviously talk to him and say, hey, uh, could you lower it down? But let's say, you know, there's no reason. He, he has to do his own meditation or whatever. What you can do then is accept it and just reframe it. Like every time you hear it, and you're probably doing your Tai Chi or, or like you want peace, but you still hear that person. What you can do differently than, you know, if there's just no other reason than to accept it, is to reframe it in your mind and say, well, you know what, actually, I love that he or she is doing that meditation, that own meditation. We're now both doing this. This is actually a great moment because now we're connected. We're on the same vibe here. So this is a great morning. This is an awesome morning. Whatever it is that you can say or find to state yourself positively, right? And this might seem all airy fairy, woo woo, whatever. Like, but I will, I will tell you this. If you don't learn to master your emotions, if your emotions master you, you will never accomplish fully, 100% your, your true potential. You will keep procrastinating. You will keep going in this downward spiral. And now what? So it's up to you, man. It's up to you. It's up to you to decide what it is that you want to do. Hey, th hey, this is awesome. You know what? In life, we have choices. And I love choices. But I happen to love the choices that give a positive impact on me so that I can have full energy and create something awesome in the world and feel on, feel proud of myself because I, now I have a clear structure and a clear process to do everything that I love doing instead of constantly procrastinating, being debilitated and just beat myself up and just go in a downward spiral and now have no life or balance, no structure, no plan. You feel down. You talk yourself constantly out of it. Hey, that's what you're doing. But that's fine. So it's up to you, right? So if that's you and this video really impacted you, I really you know, would appreciate you sharing this video with someone that needs to see this. Share and like. Hit up a like. And let me know in the comments like what is one thing that you tell yourself or what are you going to do right now differently because of watching this video. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I see you soon. Peace.